Hello, my name is Ayush Thorn, and I have created a circular audio visualizer. You can put any audio file you want into the program, load it in using the code, and it will analyze that audio as it's playing and show you a visualization of it in this circle using the different effects I have created. So in my code, I have already uploaded uh, three files for three different songs and they're already loaded here with their titles and stuff. So um, this will be muted in the video, but all the links to the project on Open Processing, Replit, and GitHub will be put in the description. So once you click to start the music, it will start playing the music and um, you'll be able to hear that and you'll see how it's visualizing it in the project. So yeah, um, the main way this works is uh, using a function in P5.js, which can draw a shape using by connecting vertices on a point. And it uses, uh, it like interpolates between the points and creates lines that like are curvy. And you know, it's pretty cool. So I decided to utilize that to create a visualizer. So this function in my circle class will find the coordinates of the point uh, every frame uh, by first getting the original circle, then adjusting it based on the audio. So using the um, P5 dot, um, sound library, uh, you can enable that in open processing. Um, yeah, you can enable that somewhere. Um, but yeah, so you just have to enable that or put it into like HTML loaded in. I'm pretty sure it's like right here. I think that's where it does it. And that will basically give you a bunch of functions like the fast Fourier transform. And um, basically, uh, as you can see in draw or in one of my separate draw functions, you can see I'm utilizing that with these functions. So this will get the different amplitudes of all the frequencies. This will get like just the general amplitude. Um, this will analyze the whole track and using that analysis, you can get like the amount of bass that is currently being played, which I use for the circle effect behind the main uh, visualizer that pulses with the beat. So yeah, so anyways, it finds the coordinates on the circle um, by basically using an algorithm that finds like a certain amount of points. In this case, I believe the P5JS function gives you a total of 1,024 values for like the analysis and stuff. So it basically finds all 1,024 points on the circle, all evenly spaced, and then adjusts how far away from the center they are based on the waveform. So this wi variable, that's the amount it's increased by to create that like spiky effect, which is cool. So the map function is used a lot in this project because I find it super handy because the waveform is given in values of negative one to one, but I didn't really want the spikes to go inwards. So I'm able to instead change that from zero to a uh, window height divided by six, which is kind of just a value I chose for like and that can like be adjusted as to how much you want the spikes to like stick out and stuff. So yeah, so you just have to add that to the radius and then calculate that. And then the visualizer is uh, mirrored on both sides. You can kind of see that here. Um, so it does the left side and the right side. Now you probably notice this very cool gradient effect I've added here. Um, so basically how I did that is um i believe yeah right here if this is the right side and this is the left side in the comments um this is something i never really finished and it doesn't really work so i'm just going to boop 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 and save that um and basically that this um splits up the main um visualizer shape into um multiple different segments so um, basically like every few points, it just creates uh, like a little smaller line 
Uh, hopefully that makes some sense. It basically just splits it up into different segments, and then it gets the averages of all the points consist um, that the segment consists of um, on the waveform, and it basically uses that to be like, okay, so the higher the waveform value is, the uh, more it should transition to the secondary color, which can be edited in the customize.js tab. So this is the primary color, like the base, this is the background color, and this is the secondary color that the base transitions to as the music gets louder. So yeah, um, it does do three points at a time for the lines. At first, I did do um, every line consisted of only two points, but that was creating a lot of lag and stuff, and I felt that it wasn't really necessary, and this still creates a pretty smooth gradient. That's, um, and like, all of the little edges aren't very noticeable when you're actually like playing the song. Um, so yeah, so that's the um, main visualizer. And also, you may have noticed just a little bit, it's very faint, but sometimes like the inside of the visualizer lights up too. Um, it just does that a little bit when the amplitude gets loud. I just thought that would be a nice like minimal effect. And then finally, for the pulsing circles in the back, I probably could have created a class for this, but I guess I just kind of got a little lazy and um, put them all in here. So there's uh, five in total. Some of them aren't very visible just because they're really dark, but it still adds a bit of detail. So basically, the bigger it is, like the more faint it is, so it creates kind of like an ombre gradient effect, um, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and then basically, they just scale based on the amount of bass. And... Uh, don't mind these big decimals. At first I'd use like fractions and stuff or something. I had done it differently, but then I needed to convert it to this decimal and I felt like these values were like good. Um, so yeah, just don't question it that much. Um, and yeah, and it basically also uh, fades in and out based on the bass. So fades in and scales up whenever the bass goes like boom. It's like, it's cool especially on some of the other songs like uh, Limbo. Like you can see it has that really, like, it really helps you visualize it. You know, that's what the program's for. So yeah. Um, so that is um, hosted on open processing uh, for P5.js, but I also have it um, on Replit. So I've ported it there, all the codes here. Um, I can like go to the cover page. And yes, yeah, so you can run it through there. I'll link this down in the description. You can check out the code here if you prefer it. Um, it might also have slightly better performance here. I don't know. It depends. And yeah, so it does have to preload the songs first, and then it just works. And then finally, uh, I'm just going to close that out. Finally, I have it on GitHub. So it's all uploaded here, um, you know, all the files and stuff. So you can also check it out there, you know, if you... See something you'd like to add, pull request, clean up the code, you know. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, you know. Play around with it. Change the colors, definitely. That's like one of the best parts about this. You can change the colors. And yeah, so have fun with that. And I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe because that's cool. Supports the channel, helps more people see this amazing work. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.